my name is Ashley Collins. Welcome to my YouTube channel, The Breakup Diaries. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so, so much for being present. Thank you so much for viewing in general. There's tons of content right there with, with the podcast, with the YouTube channels, and, and when Vimeo's getting like a startup again. And um, I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch mine, to better yourself, to better your life. You know, like all that fun stuff, all that fun jazz. I want to talk about journaling. I've been journaling for unconsciously. Like I didn't even notice that I was doing it since I was since I was in high school and I did it um because I wanted to tell people about my ideas but <laughs> in one way in one way we kind of really suck as human beings we kind of really fail each other we let each other down because every time we tell someone our thoughts we're like oh that's not gonna happen for you that's impossible for you so it's like I use my journal to like log everything log any thought anything that I have I like to journal <laughs> I like to journal a lot when I'm angry, which I probably should stop doing. But it's better than like, it's better than like tweeting angry because like every time I tweet when I'm angry. Oh, speaking of tweet tweeting, <laughs> that that was a really nice segue. You saw how I did that there. Um, you should follow me on my other social media platforms. Um, I post daily content, um, motivational, silly things, just little things to like give you a little boost of energy throughout your day. Um, follow me on Instagram, which is the Aunt of Dragons, the Aunt of dragons <laughs> you can add me on twitter which is the aunt of dragon singular but like it'll it'll pop up if you don't put the s or not um or you can add me on facebook which is ashley collins there's been a lot of spam accounts um following everyone on facebook lately and so if i don't follow you right right away feel free to like shoot me a message um don't send me anything inappropriate because i will call you out okay so um a lot of people um tend to be very hesitant when it comes to journaling because they feel like they had to do it a certain way. And I want to um, recommend things that have worked for me. And I always, I always switch up my journaling technique. Um, so I don't want you to think that you have to do it a certain way. You have to do it my way. You have to do it another person's way. Do whatever fits for you. Um, journaling is very therapeutic. It helps um, give you some clarity in your life. And, um, and like I said, it's much better than like tweeting or Facebooking angry statuses because, um, you know, that that kind of toxicity, toxicity spreads. You know, you don't want to give you don't want to give anyone your your reactive, angry thoughts. You want to give them your your clarified response to the thing that happened. OK, cool. cool. So um, one thing that I do is I always put a header with my jour journals. Um, I have a lot of journals. Just don't mind me. I'm just trying to manifest my life. <laughs> I have a lot of journals. That's not even all of them yet. And this is a collection from the past, like, uh, from like 15 years now. This is a lot. Oh, God, I have a problem. And to a lot of people, they'll probably think that it's not good to have a lot of journals because it's not good to just write down in what you're going to do. You have to take action with it. But, um... I write down everything. I and I always look back at my journals and um and log and see how how I was back then. Like this is one of my very first journals. Um god, when was this dated? I oh and I always um I always date mine and um and I write down my contact information just in case I lose them. I'm a minimalist, so um I only purchase things that I need and um as I was emptying out my room, which I still am actively trying to do right now, as I'm emptying out my room and throwing away old things and donating old things, I'm like, I want to keep my journals because there's some ideas in here. And this is history. And I'm like, I'm like documenting my, my life. So um, it's like my autobiography in my journals. Um, this one is from 2011. Wow. It's 2019 right now. Um, <clears throat> and in this one, I'm very sad. I am so but you know what? What's ironic is when I was at my my lowest points in my depression, it was when I was at my most creative. I have some really creative ideas in here. Um, oh, I had an idea for um, starting a modeling company. What? <laughs> oh, my God. I fucking totally forgot all about that. But okay. Yeah. Back to the topic. Um, writing a header at the beginning of each page because a lot of people will be like, um, what do I write? Just write down a subject line, just like when you're in school. Write down the subject, write down the title of it. For example, um, this one right here, I have life is hard, life doesn't care, don't you dare give up. And I write, I'm writing what I have underneath it, excuse me, 
is my plan for the day, um, my to-do list for that day. I don't do daily to-do lists because um, for me, it gives me anxiety that at the end of my day, when I look over it, I'm like, oh crap, I didn't do this, I didn't do this, and I didn't do this. And for me, like, I can't go to sleep until I get it done. So I'll stay up until like 3 a.m. And next thing you know, the next day I'm tired because I borrowed that energy from that day. So um, I don't necessarily do to-do lists. I have to do um, weekly tasks. And I and I get it done by the week. Um, so yeah, write down subject line and then fill out everything else underneath. Um, next thing I do, I like to put um, categories. One of my favorite categories is um, how to think differently. You can't see it. Oh, you can. Yeah, right there. You have to think differently. So I have that my top, my subject line right here, and then I have three subcategories. Okay. I have my um, experiences, what I want to experience more out of life. How do I want to grow personally, and how do I, how can I give back? And I fill that in underneath. Um, I, I tend to do that a lot. Um, another one I have. What's another one that I have? what i want and how i feel and i hope that you're not reading them <laughs> because like journaling is very private it's very private and like i don't know i think i would i would be a little scared if someone read what i wrote down because i they'd probably be like she needs like psychi psychiatric help <laughs> but um but yeah it's just like it's just letting all those thoughts out sometimes we like we leave them all jumbled up inside of our head and that's how we like that's how we tend to go a little bit crazy and we, we have to let it out. So, um, so yeah, so write, writing them out down in separate categories of what you want and how you're feeling. Um, another thing that I do, um, for the past years, I always wake up at 4 a.m. And it's very bothersome. It's very annoying. It's always around 4 a.m. And, um, what I've been doing for the past couple of weeks is I'll roll myself up open up the window a little bit and I'll write down my affirmations of what I want. And as I'm falling asleep, I'm kind of like, I'm kind of like watering those seeds of what I'm trying to manifest. Um, and I, what I also do is I, you follow with, I am at something active. So like for me, like I always put, I am traveling. I have a, t a plane ticket in my name. Um, I am wealthy, I am abundant, I am kind, I am loving, and I'll write that down, and I'll put in a sticky note on my wall, as you can see, my wall, full of sticky notes, um, and they, they tend to fall a lot, as you can, obviously, with, with Florida weather, I live in Florida, and it's humid as fuck right now, um, and they'll fall, and I'll collect them, and I'll put them in secret places around my room, I'll put them in my shoes, I'll put them in my book bag, um, yeah, <laughs> Yeah, I'm a little, I, I try to surround myself as much as possible with positivity, especially lately as my account is growing, I'm exposed more and more with negativity. And I'm like, okay, I got to up, up the, I got to up the positivity in my personal life. That way I don't adopt, I don't wear someone else's insecurities. Like that's your insecurities. Like you can keep them. They don't belong to me. Okay. Um, so yeah. Um, another thing that I do is I carry my journals everywhere with me. As you can see, I have this book bag. Um, I bought it from a very good friend of mine. It's kind of like a laptop bag, but it's um, it's sturdy enough. A lot of people, uh, a very popular thing is if your house is burning down, what would you grab? A lot of people would say, oh, I'd grab my kids. I'd grab my dog. I'd grab my laptop. For me, I would just grab my backpack because everything that I need is inside here. My goal ultimately is to um, live out of a backpack and a suitcase. Um... So yeah, and I always carry my journals with me. It's so funny because like guys will be like super cute and flirtatious. They'll, they'll be like, let me grab your bag for you. And I'll be like, okay, sure. And sorry, I just got a little blurry just there. Okay. <laughs> guys will be super um, cute and flirtatious and they'll be like, um, let me carry your bag for you. I'll be like, okay. And they'll pick it up. They'll be like, what the fuck you got in here? Bricks? I'm like, no, it's just just my journals. <laughs> it's really heavy. Sorry. But um. Because you never know when you're going to have an idea. And I, I always had the most random ideas when I'm just walking, you know. And um, I've been using my phone a lot more. I've been using my OK Google, which is like Bay. I love my OK. I was, wondering, I was worried that it's going to respond. I love my OK Google. And um, I'll, I'll take my notes on that. I, I'll use, um, I have an Android, so I use my Samsung notes as well um, to jot down ideas if I can't actually grab my journal in the moment. Like, it's been raining a lot lately, and my journals got a little wet, but thank goodness, um, big up Barnes & Noble, the paper, like, didn't, no mill do anything with, with the paper. Um, this is my new one for 2019, and not all who wonder are lost. 
Lord of the Rings fangirl. Um, what else? What else? Um, yeah, carry your journal with you. I would love to um, invest in something that's a bit more hand pack. Um, yeah, cool, cool. What else did I want to say? I lost my notes. Um, <clears throat> If you really are having a very hard time of what to write down, or if you feel like um, it's a bit mundane, you're writing down the same thing, um, what I did for a very long time is I would write down my dreams. For me, I have a dream basically every night. Every If I don't have a dream, it's because I'm exhausted and I need to like hurry up and go to sleep so I can wake up the next day. But I basically dream every night. Um, and I'll wake up and I'll write down that dream. And um, what I find is there's a message that your dream is giving you. And um, I try to decipher that message as I'm writing it. Um, lately, I've, I've taken to writing down my dreams on my Twitter. And um, it's really interesting. It's very interesting. And I think that my followers find it interesting as well that um, like the other day, oh my God, I had a dream that I was at Universal Studios with this awesome guy and it was on a date and it started to get cloudy and he started to get sad and I started to cry and I was like, this is a dream, isn't it? He said, yeah. And I woke up. So um, I logged that on my Twitter, but I want to get back to dream journaling as well. Um, yeah. So <laughs> that's just my, my little tips and advice on how I personally journal. Um, like I said, it's very therapeutic for me. And I also feel like it's kind of like, I just love looking back and looking at my notes from past years. This is one the one from last year. And oh my God, I wrote something down the other day. Uh, I didn't write it down on here. I apologize. I was looking at something the other day and I was like, oh my God. I had written down, someday this pain will be of use to you. And this is when I was going through like the roughest parts of my breakup. The roughest parts of my breakup. And I'm looking back at it now and I was like, fuck. I did learn something from this. And I, I still am learning something from what I'm going through. And um, yeah. It doesn't matter what your journal looks like. For me, like I love the ones that have words in them already. Um that have quotes in them already this is my planner I have, a, I have a journal and a planner yeah i'm kind of a i'm kind of an organization freak like if you if you make last minute plans it's gonna piss me off i'll work with it but <laughs> but i i have to write it down um i have quotes at the beginning of, of each of these i also have like little tasks that um the journal tells me to do like um oh something i have to do this week is compliment a stranger so i need to do i need to get that done but um but yeah, journaling is something I recommend everyone do. And like for me, I hated writing in high school because I found that the teacher wanted me to say what they were thinking. The teacher wanted me to say what everyone else was thinking. And which is why I hate The Great Gatsby because <laughs> I, I interpreted it so incorrectly that... It made me just hate reading and writing for a very long time. But what I've discovered with my journaling and with my vlogging is there's no right or wrong way to interpret things. It's just my perspective and it's my reality and it's <laughs> and I want to share that. So cool, cool. I hope that you guys found this valuable. I hope that you... um. Let go of your procrastination and your excuses and just, just pick up something, just buy something, just buy a 99 cent composition book from Walmart and just write what you're feeling. Write down what you want to happen. Write down your journey, write down your life, okay? Do subcategories, do a subject line. I'm really big on that one. Thank you for watching. I hope this was useful to you. Thank you for putting up with my snotty nose. <laughs> I'm still recovering from my fever, but I feel, I feel like 70% Ashley now. Um, Hopefully in the next couple of days, I'll feel like 100% Ashley so I can give up, give you some more, some more valuable content. Thank you guys. You're dope. You're wonderful. You're amazing. Continue living, continue existing because you're really fucking good at it. Smile, be nice to someone, please. It really matters. Bye.